I'm Ars Mark and welcome to my channel. You know, a while back, I did a painting, I think I have it on YouTube, uh, but I did a painting with a bridge over some, uh, over some water. Now I'd like to show you the, re end, the end result of that painting. Also drop me a like uh, for this video. Enjoy. Okay, this is it right here. This is the painting that was uh, that I was telling you about. And let me tell you a little bit how I did this painting. First of all, this is a nine uh, eleven by fourteen. Excuse me, <laughs> eleven by fourteen canvas. And you see, I added a waterfall. And you put uh, uh, well, you can comment, okay? Uh, you probably say, well, how can I do a waterfall? Well, waterfalls are easy to do. All you need is a fan brush. Now, I use a fan brush. That's not it. <laughs> Alright. This is my number two fan brush you, that you see in, that I use in my videos. But this is it right here. And um, you can use a fan brush when you do a waterfall. All you need to do is get some titanium white and... My suggestion is that you that you that you push and push and bend, push and bend. Let those bristles bend for you. See how those bristles are bending? Okay. What you do is push and bend, push and bend. Now, when you want to make splashes, just turn your brush like this and press up like that, allowing. Allowing to let those bristles just bend, okay, push up. You might make your splashes a little bit, a little bit different. Okay, but it's real good for doing, uh, you know, that kind of stuff and just pushing and bend. All right, now, and uh, now this stuff right here that you see at the bottom of this canvas, this this color, is called black gesso. Let me uh have some here with me studio okay now this is black gesso okay and it's a primer it's acrylics so we all know that acrylics dry real fast now me I'm into oils but you might be in acrylics or in oils uh, but I like to use black gesso and you can buy this at your, at your, you can buy this at your art stores, or you can order through your uh, through art catalogs. But you need to get some of this. It's called Black Chesso Acrylics Primer, and I like to use it. I really do. And it comes in a jar. You can buy it in a jar like this, and uh, it's really good stuff. It's real good stuff. And you apply it with a foam brush. Uh, in in this case, I applied it with a paper towel. Uh, I wish I had some here in the studio with me. You can take a paper towel, a little paper towel, and tear it. And then you might can just board up your paper towel like this. Something. See? You can do that and then you can just put that on your paper towel and then you can just dab it on like that, okay? And don't worry, if you get this on you, don't worry, because when you wash your hands, it come off with soap and water. And just dab it, just like this. Just dab it. And if you're going to make a scene like this, just go all over the, all over the canvas like that. And let it dry. It won't take long to dry. Okay? But that's how I did this painting. Isn't it a beautiful painting? It's a, such a beautiful and, and nice, beautiful colors. This beautiful, beautiful colors. Okay, that's about it. And uh, I like to tell all of my viewers, okay, I, I like to say something to all of my viewers out there. You can email art for the heart mark at gmail.com. If you have a question or, or suggestions, 
email art for the heart mark at gmail.com. And uh, you can also comment, and you can comment, uh, you know, about this painting. And um, also subscribe. You can subscribe to, uh, subscribe to subscribe to my channel, or you can subscribe to more Rob, which is me. And um, you can email art for the heart mark at gmail dot com. And uh, drop me a like, and uh, leave me some comments, subscribe. Thanks for watching. Bye.